How's it going, folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video. Today's a quick update on Digibyte. I got three announcements to start off with, as well as a new application for DigiID. No, I am not talking about the DigiID Anthem ID that I reported on, uh, I think, two days ago. There is yet another application. I also have uh, a new Google Chrome plugin that Anthem ID is working on. It's not fully released yet, but I have a sneak peek of it, and it will work hand-in-hand -hand with this app, DigiID, Anthem ID. It's super cool. Can't wait to show you. So, first announcement to make, this is Laura Taylor. She is looking for uh, volunteers to help plan the Texas meetup in, uh, or, or the Digibyte Texas meetup that is on April 6th. So this is a link to the Telegram channel where you can, if you wish to volunteer and help plan the uh, event, uh, I'll provide a link here. You can join the Telegram group, uh, see what they got planned, and uh, if you have, have some suggestions, you can help them plan the meetup going on in Texas again on April 6th. Second announcement, I know I'm late on this. I meant to, I kept ma meaning to uh, put this in one of my videos and just kept forgetting, uh, but Blockchain 35 is now available for pre-order. If you, uh, or I'll provide a link to this if you want to buy the book. Again, if you uh, haven't heard of it, uh, it's a book written by Jared Tate and a couple others. Uh, there is an option to, it, when you go to pre-order this, you can actually buy a copy of the book that has been autographed by Jared Tate. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to buy that version of it. And there's also the, uh, using this promo code, you can get $10 off at checkout. Uh, there are a couple different payment options. I, I'm actually going to pay with Digibyte. So last announcement to make, this is a tweet from Andy Race, who is a core member of the Digibyte team. Uh, he's giving away 10,000 Digibyte. The giveaway will take place on April 19th. Uh, the rules to win or apply for this, first you have to follow Block30 Labs, then you have to download the Digibyte mobile wallet, post your QR code in the comments below here, uh, as well as retweet this tweet. Again, uh, the winner will be selected on April 19th. The 10,000 Digibyte is coming directly from Andy's pocket himself, so uh, be sure to, if you win, be sure to uh, send thanks to Andy. So getting right to the news today, this tweet uh, saying Facebook has made billions from customer data and, and continues to make a mockery of the data security. At what point will regulators take real action? And this is coming from uh, someone retweeted this tweet where again, Facebook has confirmed another security lapse where Hundreds of millions of accounts and tens of thousands of accounts for Instagram users have been compromised. So this is, I believe, three, three times now in the last 12 months that Facebook has had some sort of security breach. And definitely there needs to be uh, some sort of, I don't know if rules and regulators need to step in, but they definitely need to implement some sort of uh, technology to you know increase the security of their users and obviously uh, those of you that have followed Digibyte for some time now know that DigiID is that solution so speaking of DigiID there's this new application it's called DigiID Simple this is created by uh, Noah Seedman he's created I think he did a lot of work on the uh, Android Digibyte mobile wallet app as well and you can tell because uh, based on the DigiID Simple app the user interface uh, looks very similar to the Digibyte mobile wallet, uh, especially with the confirmations down here. Uh, so there are differences between this one and the one I reported on the other day. Uh, so Noah's version, the DigiID Simple, I think it's great for people that are new to cryptocurrency, new to blockchain technology. Uh, you know, uh, it, it is kind of confusing the first time you ever create an account and you get uh, these seed phrases and uh, that you have to write down and store, that can be confusing for, I guess, new users. So the difference in this one is the DigiID Simple, uh, it skips the complexities of seed phrases. There, there's no seed phrases, there's no passwords. Instead, it focuses on the fingerprint authentication, and you have a QR code for a backup and restore, and I believe that's stored in the Google Cloud. So there are some differences there. Uh, certainly the Anthem ID uh, Digi, the DigiID Anthem ID app has a seed phrase like uh, traditional wallets or you know accounts on exchanges have for cryptocurrency and uh, this one does not have seed phrases instead it has a QR code stored in the Google Cloud but they offer the same functionality you scan the QR code you open the app verify with your thumbprint and uh, then you are logged into your account 
But speaking in terms of Anthem ID, Digi ID, this application, uh, Anthem ID is working on a Google Chrome plugin that will allow you to log in to any account using Digi ID, even if that website has not yet integrated Digi ID or Anthem ID technology. And this is going to be very cool and uh, potentially very big for getting the adoption of Digi ID out there, even if the websites aren't implementing the technology. This is a look at how it works. So if you download the Google, uh, Google Chrome extension, there'll be a little button up here at the top right corner. You can see it looks like the uh, Digi ID logo. So if you were going to log into Facebook, you click on this logo. You open your Digi ID, Anthem ID app, you scan that QR code, and then since this application has a built in password generator, when you scan that QR code, it will generate your password. You copy that password, you paste it into Facebook, and then you're logged in. So it's very cool. You know, you can use Digi ID now to log into Facebook, Twitter, and all the different websites out there that have not yet adopted. Digi ID or Anthem ID, and since you are using the Digi ID Anthem ID app to create your random password, your password is going to be very, very strong, very, very secure because it's completely random. Uh, there's random uppercase letters, random lowercase, random symbols. Uh, they're very long, and it's definitely more secure than you know creating your own password or recycling passwords. Uh, that are using numbers that you know pertain to maybe your birthday or uh, someone else's birthday or your anniversary. You know, people tend to make passwords that are easy to remember uh, because it's easy to remember. It, it just makes sense. But uh, downloading this Google Chrome extension when it is live, and then using the Digi ID Anthem ID app to generate your random passwords is definitely going to be a more secure option. So as far as a how to use it and a, a live demonstration of it working, that will likely come next week. I'm actually working on a uh, PowerPoint specific for Digi ID. Uh, you know, I got the first half of it done. I got the second half to work and I'll include a how to use these new applications that have uh, come out and this uh, Google Chrome extension. So that wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it, share it, leave a comment. See you guys later.